Hello Taurus, getting ready to do your reading. We're going to see what the person that you are dealing with, what they're thinking and feeling. Nine of Cups popped out. Page of Cups is under there. Wow. All right, so it looks like your reading is already heading in a really good direction. Here is Scorpio. I just said, saw death. Oh, death is in reverse. Something's not over, possibly. Justice might be the Libra. All right, what is going on for Taurus? Three of Cups. We have the Three of Swords, Ten of Swords, the Nine of Swords, the Knight of Wands, the Ace of Wands, and the High Priestess. King of Cups is in reverse under the deck. This could be someone who's feeling overly emotional. Looks like they are. Because I know sometimes this can be read as someone who's not open to love. But sometimes I do read as someone who's like going out of their mind, emotional, they're staying up at night. Um, it's like they're getting kind of, I would say hysterical, but they're definitely being consumed by their feelings. Something is not over between you and this person. Death is in reverse, Five of Cups, and then the King of Cups is here. Yeah, the moon, that makes sense because the moon to me is that emotional. Didn't know I had feelings for you. Yeah, they were happy at one time with you. Watching, maybe they're watching you be happy because the page is sword. So they're taking action though. Or they will be. You can be very closed off to this person. You don't see them. You don't want to see them. Interesting. All right. Let's go to this deck and go around. Now, this is someone who obviously, I mean, there could have been a three, third party. But it doesn't need to be. But again, it could be a date. A date. And maybe you didn't like this person. or Because now they're sad. They feel heartbroken. They're worrying. Uh, they could be. It could have been a player. Acted like a player. Now they realize that that's how they were or they're coming towards you passionately so i can't see him there you go sorry again eight of swords she couldn't see the cup being handed to her she didn't want to see maybe you don't want to see something about this person and again obviously the rules be completely switched around this is supposed to be their energy not yours but so let's see, take it as it resonates. Let's see. Okay, so let's go around one time and see what's going on with this person. So they have the Three of Cups as the initial energy in the middle of the reading. And the Hierophant. Now this can be a date. This can go out with someone with Three of Cups. This is, you know, being in a relationship or wanting to be in a relationship and enjoying. So you guys could have been in a relationship. You could have been happy at one time. What was the Three of Swords? Obviously they could be with somebody else. Yes, they could already be married. Uh, maybe you're the third party. Nine of Wands are tired of being sad chariot they want to move away from the sadness and this hurt or again i kind of feel like that might be you possibly like just you're you're done i don't know you may have told this person you don't want to be part of a third party for some of you could be a cancer yeah this person is trying to be strong could be a leo ace of cups the hermit though could be a virgo and the nine of cups i wish fulfill listen to your intuition three of swords yeah Something is not over here. Something that you thought was dead and gone is not over. Someone is missing you terribly. So they could be married to someone else, but um, King of Swords energy and the Temperance. So again, it does look like they're trying to figure out what to do in this situation. They may have left you for someone else, possibly for somebody. Now they're really regretting that situation. What is the Hierophant? What is the Hierophant? The Ten of Coins. So this could have been a very strong union long lasting again and they may already be in this relationship but if it was the two of you and this is what they were hoping for wanting this would be like a very stable foundation very strong connection what is the nine of wands though page of wands communication coming in if it's not a fire sign it's obviously good communication i get with the page of wands what is the chariot five of wands or there's going to be arguing king of swords this person could come across cold they could be an air sign, but again, they maybe they're not really taking ownership of what happened or what they did or the split. Again, this could be you. Maybe you're feeling kind of cold and pissed off right now. What is the Ace of Cups? The Knight of Wands again. So we got two Knight of Wands. So this could be a fire sign. Look, we got lovers under here. This person could be driven kind of by their passions or maybe their emotions. Maybe they are a water sign and maybe they don't always make the best choices. Again, Knight of Wands to me is someone who doesn't sit still, someone who's up and going and then coming back. You can't really rely on them sometimes, but... What is the hermit energy? The tower. Someone had a breakthrough, is having a breakthrough. Almost feels like with the Ace of Wands, though, it's like how to win you back, how to get back together with you, how to see you again, how to be around you, that type of thing. Was a Nine of Cups? Two of Swords. So there's something. I need you one more for the Two of Swords. I always feel like there's two different paths. So Six of Swords moving on. 
All right, for some of you, this is just a long distance relationship. I mean, this is someone who lives at a distance who doesn't want to be this far away from you. Uh, they may be trying to move or get their job transferred because they're really trying to figure this out. This may have been something that was very, you know, maybe the both of you are just like kind of young and passionate and in love and you weren't expecting this. This definitely could be a third person involved. They could be married or you were, but, or are. But um, no, this is like kind of like something that you maybe were not expecting when this did happen, when this went down. So this person is trying to get back towards you is kind of what I'm seeing here, Six of Swords. So whether there was an argument here that broke you guys up or it's distance or... Because um, listening to your intuition, this it's like you guys will come back together. It may not be perfect, but it definitely there's like a plan being hatched. It's kind of what I'm seeing with these two things. What is the Five of Wands? What is all this arguing? Ten of Cups. So again, they could be with another person and there's a lot of arguing in the house. Uh, they're not happy there. Ten of Cups, Ten of Swords. Page of Wands, Fool. You know, they may have told somebody else that they didn't want to be with them anymore. I mean, it may have been you also, but I mean, fool is like brand new energy, right? But they're sad about one thing and they're happy about something else. They want to be toward, going towards happiness. The Ten of Cups could be the two of you with the fool energy here. What is the King of Swords? A lot of tens in your guys' is reading. So there's definitely an ending here that's four of coins. They're holding on. And that's the thing I was going to say. The ten of, tens are showing up. Yeah, end of a cycle. That doesn't mean someone's actually going to let go. They could restart the cycle with a person. But... Um, because with the Nine of Wands and the Three of Swords, somebody doesn't want to hurt another person. Or they're tired of being hurt. They're tired of dealing with this. Because now the King of Swords has the Four of Coins. So he's holding on or holding back. What is he holding on to or holding back? The past. Okay, they, he could be holding on to like an ex. Well, actually, they may not be an ex. Always call him an ex. Soon to be possibly, hopefully, ex maybe. But um, they're holding on to the past. If there's no third party for a lot of you, again, this could be a past life soulmate. They're not really wanting to open up and reveal how they're feeling about you. Because again, they are coming across as a knight of wands. So that's more a playful energy. That's more aloof, not really wanting to show you exactly how they're feeling. Again, the fool, more more fun, more lighthearted energy. I feel like this person likes to be around you also. They like the lighthearted energy the two of you share. Um, they look forward to talking to you and seeing, seeing you. Um, you guys laugh or you make them laugh or maybe they make you laugh i see someone smiling i see lips and teeth like someone really smiling though um you guys talk on the phone which like i get some of you like you never talk on the phone ever but you will with this person just because it's easier maybe you're facetiming i actually saw a phone but um like like you do something different with them than you do with other people because the texts are just too long so you, you got to get on the phone or you got to do this um I was going to say in person, but I don't know if you're, I don't think you're in person, but you could be. Okay, split the deck right there. Five of coins out in the cold, the sun. It's like you warm them up or they warm you up. You guys are happy. You guys talk and communicate. What is this tower though? What is this tower? I just heard the word split. So they may be splitting. Seven of coins though. That's not really, that's like waiting though. Waiting to see, waiting for something to happen. This person may be waiting for money or waiting to see something's going to, um, what's weird was I, I saw like stocks, like, um, money, like, uh, waiting for a stock to take off. I don't know why that, that came through like that, but, uh, I don't know if that has anything to do with the stock market, investing, New York, um, a job. One more for the seven of coins, please. The moon. Okay. We're going to clarify the moon. This person may be hatching a plan. They may be really sad and lonely where they're at. And it, whether it's a relationship or a location, but maybe what I plan, but maybe what I name your reading. And again, it's like they want to get out of a situation if they are in, what, are in one and they're just not happy there. What's the moon? What is the moon hiding? What are they waiting for? What is the moon? Hang on, one more. What is the moon? Temperance, having to wait, Three of Cups, High Priestess, Knight of Cups, manifesting, I'm sorry, taking a lot, Four of Cups. I get timing needs to be right with all this. Um, I mean, Three of Cups doesn't have to be third party, but obviously 
they're waiting to get rid of a situation or to get I feel like they're being sneaky though what's interesting I feel like this person is going to stay in this relationship you don't have the seven of swords but you must know and they're just waiting to come towards you if there's not this is dating wanting to ask you out wanting to take action but again four of swords something's not right four of swords and four of cups um and that must be the seven of coins so it's still not telling me exactly what they're waiting for but they're waiting for something maybe they feel like they need more money they need to work on something or have something done or completed or maybe it's schooling education a job because we are ending on the knight of coins so maybe they're just not feeling very confident okay but again they're working on something that will help move this forward some type of you know wish fulfilled that they can be with you all right let's see page of coin communication there's that four of cups again and then nine of coins. I have a feeling this person sees you as someone who you like nice things, you dress nice, you're not going to settle. So again, I kind of get with the four of cups showing up twice now and the four of swords. They know they have to approach you in style. They have to, um, and maybe they don't have to, that's just what they're thinking. They feel like they need to come forward, with, you know, they need to have the money in the car and, and everything going for them or something like that. Maybe you're making this person level up. I have seen that in a good way. It could be where this person was a knight and they were just goofing around. Now all of a sudden you're making them want to level up. You're making them, they want to go, you know, make more money or work harder or take better care of themselves or, you know, go to the dentist. Um, so that's actually a good thing. When, when, you know, you want to you know, strive for more or achieve more or, you know, work on yourself, improve. So I don't know. Again, you may not really require this. In fact, this is their own idea that they're hatching. But they definitely want to, again, maybe they're feeling a little insecure, but they want to impress you. It's kind of just what I'm picking up. Let me see something, though. Um, maybe you turn this person down, though. Maybe you, like, walked by them and you didn't really notice them or the conversation didn't go well. Because we had the Three of Cups. That can be a date. That can be going out. Maybe you guys had coffee or drinks after work or with coworkers, and they just didn't connect. They didn't make a very good impression. And they're just, they really want to make a good impression. They're trying to figure something out. Maybe their a home or apartment wasn't that nice, so they decided they're going to move suddenly, but they have to wait for some money. And the reason they're doing this that's hidden is because they want you to like them, because they may view you as a nine of coins. But um, uh, I don't know if this is the good energy, the best energy to start a relationship on, but at least they're leveling up, right? At least they want to... At least you're not lazy, right? They're, they're, I don't know. I, I don't know what else to say. I guess you guys get it. But what is the possible outcome or advice for this reading? They want you to like them is what I just heard, but let me see. Manifesting a new beginning, lovers with you, and a star. Okay, emperor. So again, leveling up to emperor status. Uh, I think actually this is good. I think this person really likes you with this deck. Justice. Wanting another shot with you or chance with you. Again, if they're if they're married to someone else, then that's obviously probably prob the problem in the situation. So they got to take care of that. But if it's not, it's like this person, look, look, look at all this major energy. So they really like you and they really want to, um, yeah, they really, they're kind of head over heels. Because look at how he's looking up at her. So this is kind of head over heels energy. So maybe that's what I'm feeling. Wanting to go home and, you know, groom and look better. Four of coins, ace of cups just fell out. Fools under the deck, page of cups. So again, I feel like this person really likes you. Like, he look, he's, like, he's dancing. So maybe you guys have gone out. And again, they've been around you. You guys, uh, this person maybe not is showing how much they like you. The, maybe the tower was kind of like a moment of disbelief that, wow, like you knocked their socks off. Do you what I'm seeing here with tower energy? Like this was unexpected. It could have been maybe a blind date or maybe you, you met this person or meet this person online through an app and you don't expect much. You're thinking that's just another weirdo I'm meeting online. Um, and it it's really, really, um, it turns out really well. Again, because they could have had their guard up or maybe this is you, seven of wands. Yeah. Low expectations. They've had low expectations in the past or that's what they always got or that's what you always got. 
things that things never turned out is what I'm hearing, you know, hoping for the four of wands, the ten of coins, but things just didn't work out, didn't manifest, so they kind of got disappointed, they gave up. I, I get you guys, you have also been doing a lot of dating or driving to go to dates or things like that, or they have it again, uh, ghosting, just, just problems dating. So, so this could be what I'm seeing here, like a date coming together, Ace of Cups, and then you guys are both not really in it. You guys both have low expectations because of everything that's been going on in your dating life or whatever. And so, but you go away from this date thinking, wow, I think I met the one. They seem like the one. That may be what I'm seeing, disappointment here. Just careful, this person may be married for some of you. It doesn't have to be, but we had a lot of tense here. Again, maybe they are gun shy. Um, I guess you could say that because of past divorce. Maybe they, maybe they are divorced also, or you're divorced. But um, don't want to count the chicken before they hatch is also what I'm hearing. Wanting to move forward slowly. Listening to your intuition. They're listening to their intuition. That you guys feel like this is a wish fulfilled with this person. But you don't want to get in over your head. You don't want to move forward too quickly. That could be also what they're doing also. So keep that in mind too because again... Nine of Swords Strength, they could be holding back and acting a little bit cold or distant. I get more distant than anything. A little bit more careful. Okay, that makes sense. Okay. All right, so I hear them starting gardening outside. So I'm going to wrap it up here, you guys. Have a really good week, and I'll talk to you soon.